Good morning. This is Sarah Honeydew with JNS Biblical Productions. In Matthew 12, 25, Jesus said that every kingdom involved in a civil war becomes a wasteland. So we have invited a marriage counselor here today to discuss how this piece of gospel applies to all marriages. Welcome Miss Sugar Buttercup from the Church of the Open Window. Greetings. Hi. Hello. Um, <laughs> it seems like we've met before. Was it with um, Anthony Weiner with uh, his campaign for mayor for New York City? Oh yes, that was a long time ago. Now I give advice on marriages. Okay, okay. Well, Miss um, Buttercup, in your years of study, of getting involved in other people's marriages, are there a few things that you usually find to be true that are with rough marriages? Miss Honeydew, there are many alternative facts that exist before arguing, fighting, and infidelity take place. The biggest is unrealistic expectations of marriages that come from their parents, movies, TV sitcoms, and movie stars. Look at these overly romantic ideas. So yeah, so movie stars such as Jennifer Aniston or um, Leonardo DiCaprio, so crazy. The worst bad idea is to expect that a man or woman that you're going to marry will be like a movie star. That's insane. I'd like to test these out on your receptionist, Miss Sedgway. Would you call her? We'll see how gullible she is. Okay. Yes. Hi, Miss Sedgway. Hi. How are you today? Good. Good. Are you, do you see anybody that you like on that poster? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Matthew McConaughey. Oh. He's very attractive. I love his blue eyes and, um, you know. Um, next question. What do you expect that a marriage proposal should be like? Well, I like two, actually. Mm. Um, I like this one, the old-fashioned, you know, down-on-one-knee proposal. Mm -hmm. Also, a proposal on the Empire State Building. Oh, Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, yeah. I see. I see. Okay, next question. A place to honeymoon. What do you expect? I have three choices, actually. Uh, I would choose the romantic getaway on the beach in the ocean. Also, cruise, taking mm. you to uh, different tropical islands. And Venice. Venice, nice. Okay, great. So, as far as the honeymoon, what about the honeymoon suite? I would choose this one because it's close to the beach and you can see the ocean from your view. And this suite, you can almost feel the tropical wind blowing through the window and you can see the beach in the background. Okay. Like paradise. Oh, it looks just like paradise. Fantastic. Okay, last question. So what are you gonna do after the honeymoon? What's life gonna look like? Um, well, dinner, of course. And then after a long evening, probably soak in the rose petal hot tub. Soak in the rose petals, okay. So then with all of this, what can a couple do? See how she's suckered in by this Hollywood and TV nonsense? So you have to ask yourself, are these things really important on the first day of marriage? Uh-huh. Okay, well then, what is a couple to do? Discuss these expectations beforehand, like how to handle money. Is your future partner a spender or a saver? Okay, well, what if you come from different backgrounds? Um, let's say one of you is born and grows up in poverty and the other one wealthy. That should be discussed from the very beginning. There is no rule that states that once married, the couple has to return to birthplace and condition of the poor spouse. Who would make such a law? You see how I dress? I come from a different background. Okay, well, I can see that. So what else is important? They should communicate about everything right from the start, even normally taboo subjects like previous relationships. Many naive couples think that if they have good sex, then everything else will fall into line. Use me as an example. I've had five husbands.
Okay, I understand where you're coming from, but what is that a result of? You don't look like the kind of woman that stays around at home taking care of everything. No, I guess not. But I do communicate with my husband about everything. We never go to bed in an argument. We talk it out even if it takes all night to reach an understanding. So, Ms. Buttercup, is there such thing as a real, honest, good marriage? It's a or what. If a couple communicates and really talks every day about what's on their minds, marriage only begins with the marriage vows. Take the commitment seriously. Um, I've been listening to this and, and I feel like you've left out some subject matter. My ex-husband used to chase me around the house with a stick and beat me. What do you have to say about that, Miss Sugar Buttercup? Um, well, Miss Sedgway, you have to look earlier in your marriage than when your spouse was beating you, just like after you tied the knot. You should look at your responsibility in your marriage, not only at what he did to you. Well, I did tell him when he didn't finish his dinner that there were people starving in China that would treat me better. That's probably true. That's a start. There is always something you did in your marriage that you can take responsibility for. It is never, never, never just one person's fault. But always ask yourself, are we always communicating together every day in the first place? Well, Miss Buttercup, I think that there are some good advice in what you've shared, um, especially with the basic root of a house divided in marriage, as in Matthew 12, 25 and 26. One more thing, Ms. Sedgwood. I think you should change into more colorful clothes so your husband doesn't get bored looking at you. And also, I would suggest using some French perfume. Bye! This is Sarah Honeydew for JNS Biblical Co Productions. Thank you, Ms. Buttercup, for your advice to a house divided as we take a good look at one of Jesus' basic truths about a kingdom divided. And good morning. What are your thoughts on today's story? We'd like to know. So leave a comment and subscribe to our channel, JNS Authentic Biblical Productions. Whether it's the word of God through parables, true stories illustrating parables, or true stories in the life of Jesus Christ with commentary, you can see them all by subscribing to the most comprehensive collection of videos of biblical stories for you and your family. Have a blessed day.